I get a kit that comes with directions like this, I like to take my pencil and just go ahead and fill in all the uh, images. That way I can see what parts I've already completed and have out of the sprue and sanded. Then I'll lay them out like this just to visually get an idea of what I'm going to be putting together. Now for priming the tiny parts, I like to put them on a block with masking tape, sticky side up. I don't do this for all my parts, just the really small ones. You can do whatever works best for you. Alright, put the chrome ones back. We don't need to paint those. <laughs> and now my pieces are prepped for primer. Um, and I'll use some gray primer and just do a light first coat. And then I'll wait a moment and then I'll do a second coat. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the engine block. Just give it one nice light coat all the way around. And then voila, we have some primed parts. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl that has everything? Um, in these vans, apparently the top of the engine doesn't really show but the bottom completely does so um i'm gonna have to go back in there and i'm gonna have to use my this is what i use to fill in the little seams that we got going on um so i'm gonna go ahead and fill that in and then i'm going to sand it over and yeah after applying the two-part glaze it should look a little bit like this a little sloppy but we're gonna go ahead and sand the glaze off and uh, it should be looking nice. All right, now that the putty is dry and I sanded my part, it should look something like this, smooth. Um, I'm gonna see if I can try and sand these little scratches out here. And then um, it should be ready for another coat of primer. All right, and when it's all um, set and done and primed, it should look something like this. I might just go back in and um, do a little bit more sanding just because I'm really particular and I don't want to see any of those little um, bumps or scratches, so yeah. And that's where we're at. Next up, I like to lay my parts out like this um, in front of the paints. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hand paint these small parts. For this next part, I'm going to be using my Iowata airbrush to paint the engine block. Oh. 